My name is Zalani Anahisi, licensed therapist and breakthrough life coach with over 11 years experience. This channel is for black women visionaries who are already doing the work, but still finding themselves feeling stuck, stagnant and unfulfilled. We are here to break through all of that and create lives where we are flourishing and free. If this sounds like you, then you're in the right place. Welcome. Can I just take a moment to ask you to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. It really helps the channel to grow and to get the message out there to the black women who need to hear it. In the last video, I spoke about one word being really important for black women the word no, and how it is one of the most important words in the healing black woman's arsenal. I gave some examples of how we can say no and what that might look and feel like, but I've got a treat for you. A beautiful, powerful black woman using her no in the most dignified and unapologetic ways. Take a look. I'm absolutely thrilled to be joined by a lawyer, Dr. Shola Moschuk. How do I pronounce your name, Shola? Read it, my darling, read it. Shog Bam Imibu. Okay. Imibu. So this is terrible. I know, Especially it's terrible. For presenting. I can't, it's a lot of easy. Okay, okay. Like, like, give her a break. No, it's no, no, get, go back and start again. Right, just okay, read Shola it. Yeah, Moss. phonetically. Shog Mam Imu. Start, do it again. Oh, come on, no, Shola, no, no. I've got the do, Shola right. Do, do it again Shola, and read it phonetically. Moss, Shog Mamimu? You just missed the beat. Try again. Go on. Shola. Shola. Shola, welcome no, to the no, show. No, no, you will <laughs> say my name. Now read it phonetically. Shog Bam Emu. Okay, Shog Bam Emu, but well there done. There you go. Great yeah. accent. And Carol Malone. I'm easy. <laughs> this is the first time in my life I, I say to myself, I'm easy. In this clip, we see Dr. Shola Moz Shogbamimu unapologetically make a powerful stand for herself on national television. She takes up space graciously and says, say my name. Too often as black women, we are told that we are too much. We are too loud. Our laugh is too raucous. Our lips are too big. Our bodies are too thick. Our hair is too kinky and too unprofessional. And it's just not true. It's time that we said, no, you will say my name. We have been like sand between rocks. We will fill the gaps and make up for the slack of other people. It's what we do as black women. And we've done it for so long, it's effortless, and we don't realize that we do it half the time, I believe. But this is exhausting for us. It drains us. We need to stop buying into the idea that the problem lies here. In the clip, we can see that actually, the problem is that the presenter has failed to do her own research to support her own role. It's not Dr. Shola's job to fill the gap. There are so many that will watch that clip and say that Dr. Shola could so easily have helped the presenter out and corrected her, given her her name, and they could have moved on seamlessly with the show. But that was not Dr. Shola's job. Creation happens on so many levels, but three of the most powerful are through thought, word and deed. Each of them carries a frequency and emits an energy in the world. So when we allow somebody to mispronounce, belittle or make jokes about our names, we're giving away our power. We need to allow others to sit with the uncomfortableness of their own failings and stop picking up the slack. Now, I'm not saying that we shouldn't help the people around us. If there is an instance where someone genuinely cannot do something, that's different. But what we need to stop doing is allowing other people's bad behavior to be our responsibility. So black women, 
take up space, be loud, laugh your biggest belly laugh, wear your kinky natural hair, but do not shrink yourself. My name is Zalani Anahisi, licensed therapist and breakthrough life coach. Thank you for listening.